Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I will be reviewing a pair of sunglasses I just picked up. Here are the 2001 Oakley water jacket in the black VR28 Iridium colorway. I got this pair of sunglasses from a local seller. He bought it from a local optical shop back in 2001. It came with the receipts and everything, kept in really good condition. He also told me at that point in time, it was really hard to get a pair of these. So he had to make a special pre-order with the store in order to get it. One of his inspirations behind this purchase is because of the famous football player, Edgar Davis, who wore this pair of sunglasses in his matches. So the Oakley Racing Jacket was first released in 1999 and it stopped production around 2005. It takes inspiration from the Oakley Racing Jacket, so they are really similar models, but for the water jacket, it is specifically designed for extreme water sports like surfing. There are certain features on the sunglasses that makes it different from the racing jacket. Some key differences are the lens. There are vents at the corners to facilitate airflow and prevent the lens from fogging up. There are straps connected to the back of the ear sock for a more snug and secured fit. There is also a necklace chain at the back to prevent you from losing the sunglasses when you fall into the water. Also apparently these pair of sunglasses are buoyant so they will float. Overall it is very apt for water activities and water sports. So the main purpose of today's video is to show you close-up shots of these pair of sunglasses and to document it since it's 23 years old. It's practically art at this point and also to help you out with the sizing as well as the fit. Starting off, here is the box that came with the sunglasses. There's a picture of Kalani Rob, a renowned surfer, on the front. There is the water jacket branding below. Here are the tags. It opens up to a long list. Here is the receipt that came with it. The sunglasses came with a square hard case. It is lined with a soft sponge interior, housing the sunglasses to keep them protected. It came with an Oakley dust bag, a bottle of hydrophobic lens solution. Here is a close-up shot of the water jacket. It is said to be in a black VR28 iridium colorway. The lens have a slight orange tint, but under sunlight, it becomes mirrored. The sunglasses are constructed by what Oakley calls Old Matter, which is a patented nylon composite used in majority of their sunglasses. The frame of the sunglasses are in a single piece build, so there are no separate parts. This makes the whole sunglasses extra durable, as there are no screws or hinges that could loosen or corrode over time. That explains the oversized square casing that came with it. Zooming out, you can see the structure as well as the design of the frame. It looks very aggressive and very aerodynamic, with holes at the bottom as well as the top of the frame. There is a lot of attention to detail when it comes to the technology and design. Even the Oakley logo is hollowed out for additional airflow. The lenses themselves are constructed by what Oakley calls Plutonite, which is a high quality polycarbonate plastic material. Basically, it blocks out 100% of UVA, B, C, as well as blue light. Around the corners, both top and bottom of the lens, there are cutouts, which helps facilitate airflow. Here's an interior view of the sunglasses. You can see there's a slight orange tint in the lens. In the middle, you have this rubber nose piece, which Oakley calls unobtainium. It is basically found on nose pads as well as ear sock for comfort as well as additional grip. At the back of the sunglasses, you have this oversized ear sock. At the other side, you have the same skull design as well as the Made in USA branding. At the ends of the ear sock, there is a nylon strap which connects them both, allowing for an extremely secure fit. The strap has a very simple mechanism, so when you put it over your head, all you have to do is adjust the fastener in the middle and it tightens according to your preferred length. At the bottom of the fastener, there's a small loop which connects to a necklace chain. In case the strap on the sunglasses is insufficient and the sunglasses fall off, it acts as a last line of security for you to prevent losing your sunglasses. Keep in mind, both ear sock at the back could be removed. You can find replacement ear sock at the back without the straps, converting it into a racing jacket so it would be a lot more convenient when you're wearing them. Now moving on to the sizing, comfort, as well as how they look like on face. When putting on the sunglasses, you wear them like a pair of goggles, stretching it over your face. Please excuse the hair, it's a bit long, it's covering the top part of the frame. In my opinion, it doesn't do it as much justice as it should. But anyways, here is how it looks like on face. As for comfort, these pair of sunglasses are really comfortable, nice and lightweight, and the sunglasses feel very aerodynamic as well. It is nicely pressed onto your face, giving off very nice coverage. And when you're moving about, you feel very agile and it does not feel very bulky. I guess this is the intended purpose of the sunglasses, designed for sports with a lot of wind in your face. 
So to sum up my thoughts on these pair of sunglasses, definitely a piece of history right here. I'm really thankful to have it on hand. I'm a big fan of the design. It looks very aerodynamic, aggressive, as well as tactical. I love the comfort as well as the functionality of it as well. Overall, very pleased with the pickup. Definitely recommend you guys to get them. I hope this video has given you the information you need on this Oakley water jacket and the black and VR28 Iridium colorway. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.